In this video, we're going to practice drawing condensation polymer from these two monomers. Before we do that, we're going to spot the errors that are present in a given answer. In fact, those errors are commonly made mistakes. So how many errors do you think you can spot in one minute? Here's the question. We need to provide the structure of a polyester from these two monomers. These monomers, the top one is the alcohol monomer, the second one is the carboxylic acid monomer. Alcohol contains hydroxyl group, which is that OH group, whereas carboxylic acid, the second monomer on the bottom, contains carboxyl group, which is the COOH group. So from hydroxyl and carboxyl group, we're going to condense out water, which is H2O. Here's the given answer. That's the structure of polyester containing commonly made mistakes. You have one minute to spot as many errors as you can, and then after that, we're going to compare notes. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, time's up. If you need more time, go ahead, pause the video, come back when you're ready. How many errors did you find? I found five. We're going to start from the left. The first error is this. When we condense out water, we remove OH from the COOH group and we remove H from the OH group. That means that N that has carboxyl group should start with C double bond O. That oxygen should not be there. The second error is this. Notice from the monomer, the two carboxyl groups are three carbons away. However, in this answer, the second C double bond O group is only two carbons away from the first group. So it's wrong. The third error is this. There should be an O left over from the alcohol monomer. It's not here. The next one is this. The structure should be a benzene ring. It's missing three double bonds. Last but not least, this one. Again, this monomer should have an oxygen at the end since we only remove hydrogen from the OH group. If it doesn't make sense, hang in there. We're going to go through how to draw the correct polyester structure right now. Since we need to show two repeating units, we're going to start by alternating the two monomers. It doesn't matter which monomer we start with. So I'm just going to start with the alcohol one and then alternate with the carboxylic acid. To differentiate between the monomers, I colored the alcohol monomer. Now that we have our two monomers in order, we need to remove H2O from the two groups, hydroxyl group and the carboxyl group. There is a method for us to remove the water. Like I've mentioned before, we remove H from OH and we remove OH from COOH. You need to keep this in mind because this is very important. Otherwise, you're going to end up drawing the incorrect structure like what we saw on top. Together, the H from the OH group and the OH from the COOH group is going to condense out to become water. And we repeat the same for the next two monomers. So again, OH from COOH, H from OH. And the same thing for the other set of monomers. And then on the end, you just imagine it's the same thing happening. So OH from COOH, H from OH. Now all the water that we've highlighted is going to be removed. Go ahead and remove the bond as well. All we have to do is connect the remaining parts together like this. Also, don't forget to have the open-ended bonds on both sides. 
the bond that we connected between the two monomers, that's actually called the ester linkage. With that, we've got the right structure for polyester formed from the two monomers. Here are the two videos I've handpicked for you. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you find this video helpful or you enjoyed it, be sure to like and share it with someone. Don't forget to subscribe. Your support means a lot to me.